Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another weekend vlog. Today is going to be a special one because today is my last day working at my salon that I've been with for four years now and I've been working with some of them since the start of my career, since 2015. So today's going to be a very special day slash emotional, but I'm going to try to hold it together. But today's Saturday. I didn't film yesterday because my camera broke a couple days ago when I started to film a get ready with me before work. My camera completely broke. It's at a repair shop right now, so it is fixable, but I did buy a new camera and it's coming in the mail tonight. So I wanted to film a little bit today. So shout out to my friend Amelia if you're watching this. I love you. She let me borrow her camera, which is the same as mine. I picked it up last night so that way I can film a little bit today until I get my new camera. So a little update first. But yeah, today's gonna be a very special day because it's my last day working with everyone. But I'm still going to see everyone on the weekends. They're still going to be my besties. I'm just going to be going to a different salon all by myself. So, yeah. I got Starbucks. I treated myself today. And then I also got egg bites. I needed this really bad. And I'm excited to eat my egg bites when I get in the salon. Today, I have, I have a balayage at 9 a.m. And then I have a 12 o'clock, like, color. I'm not sure. It's a new client. I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing on her. And then I'm going to leave early because I'm going to a one-year-old birthday party. It's Ryan's best friend's son's birthday, so I'm going to go to that. And then my mother-in-law is also staying with us this weekend because she's going to help us pack and move and clean because she's an angel. We do move on Tuesday. Today's Saturday, so we have a couple days to pack. Everything's pretty much done. It's just like the little stuff we have to pack, like, like glassware, um, everything in the kitchen, everything in the bathroom, all my clothes, all my shoes, all my accessories. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be spending the next couple days packing and try to get everything organized. And then I also need to go to the new salon on Monday to like prep all my stuff. I need to set up all my things, all my color, all my tools. I got the Grande Chocolate Almond Espresso. This was my jam a couple months ago and I stopped drinking it. And I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't taste the same. It tastes different. It doesn't taste of what I remember it being. I'm gonna head in the salon, it's 8.47, I need to go set up, and I will check in with you guys later. This is my first client of the day, and to be honest, she didn't know what she really wanted in this appointment. There she is making a cameo. Um, so she showed me a bunch of pictures. She really wanted to go like an auburn red, but I had to tell her like the reality of it. You know, it's high maintenance. You have to come in, you know, all the time to get toners and get it refreshed. It's also the hardest color to remove and the easiest color to fade. So I was just giving her pros and cons um, for her lifestyle for maintaining the color. And she also showed me photos of ashy blonde hair and honey hair so honestly I just did a mixture of everything um, I did do a strawberry blonde where it still looks more warm tone honey but also has that hint of red underneath so she really loved it for a developer I did use 30 volume and I did run it through all of her ends like from you know roots to ends and I did do Olaplex just to keep the integrity of her hair nice and safe um, because her ends were a little bit dry and she really needed that bleach to run through so that way the color can pop more. I did put her under heat and let her process for about 35 minutes and she lifted perfectly. Also, no damage at all. Her hair is still nice and healthy. Um, so after I'm done washing her hair, I go ahead and mix up her color which is Illumina 943. And then for her root color, I did Illumina 616 and I did do pastel volume with both of them. And the 616 on the root does give a little bit of a bump to her base, meaning it does have ammonia in it. So if you want to stay away from that, definitely use the color touch line because that doesn't have ammonia in it. But I did want to bump her base a little bit just because of the contrast of her dark hair and then like the strawberry blonde. Also helped that she came to her appointment with freshly clean hair because it allows the bleach to really penetrate into the cuticle and make it nice and bright. 
this is what it looks like processing i know it looks crazy but i did use illumina and illumina is a violet base so that's why it kind of looks like this color but obviously once it's all blow dried it's like this really pretty strawberry blonde she was obsessed and i think this suits her really well i do think this color makes your eyes pop and it really goes well with her skin color there we go we're so happy here i am taking afters and like i said in my other vlog i do like to do a mixture of pictures and videos just because of the instagram algorithm it's all about reels these days so i try to do lots of videos so i can do some reels on my instagram but also keep photos as well because clients always prefer to look at photos Forever, dog. <laughs> and Nina's just here for the show. What are you saying? What are we saying? I don't even know. We're saying goodbye. Hi, yeah. Ash money is forever. Ash dog. money forever. Oh. 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 <laughs> This is my last client at Leo Marston Salon and it's actually her first time coming to me. She found me on Instagram and I also do a couple of her friends hair. So she was so excited to come in and she had previously damaged level 7 brassy hair. So I just kind of toned everything down with a 616 from Color Touch and did her roots. Is that my shot? Yeah. And your chaser. You're not going to take a chaser? I'll just turn it <laughs> You're brave. Well, my oh, actually, there's there's pineapple. You want pineapple? Yeah, I'll take it. Might be better. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to new beginnings, success, salud, and shman. Shman. out of work it was very emotional i actually just arrived to the one-year-old birthday party i didn't film after work because i'm not gonna lie i cried <laughs> i teared up I'm gonna miss everyone so much it was very sad but i don't want to sit here and cry so um yeah it was very aubrey got me these cute little dried flowers they're so cute i'm gonna miss everyone so much but like I said, I'm still going to see everyone. They're all still going to be my besties. But I'm definitely going to miss working with them every single day. Like, it's crazy. But I'm excited for my next journey. So I'm going to go inside, meet up with Ryan and his mom, and hang out here for a bit. And then I'm going to head home and then start packing and organizing and all that jazz. So I will check in with you guys later. I am home. It is 6 o'clock now. My room's a mess. Of course, I'm packing and cleaning, or I am packing, so... Oh, is my boy coming to say hi? I'm feeding the dogs right now. Ryan and his mom should be coming home shortly. Ryan wants to go show his mom our new house, which is on the way home, so... The birthday party was fun. It was cute. I didn't film just for the sake of their privacy of the baby and stuff. Out of respect, I didn't film anything, but... Yeah, it was cute. We were there for a couple hours. We had tacos. There was like a whole taco bar from Tijuana Flats. And then I had like a dessert. So I'm feeling a little stuff. But it was cute. So now I'm back home at 6 p.m. I'm feeding Stormy right now. I have to feed Luke. And then I'm going to start like tidying up a little bit. And then I'm going to start booking my clients for the next two months tonight. I finally got the app situated, my new booking. So I'm going to do that tonight. So that way the next two days I can focus on packing. Starry Star, did you eat? Did you eat? I'm like a girl. Let's go feed Luki. 
So yeah, I'm just gonna focus on that tonight is scheduling clients for the next two months. And then I'm going to just focus on packing until we move. Um, but these are the flowers that Aubrey got me. They're so cute. And they smell so good, they smell like floral. So cute. All right, so I will check in with you guys later. I'm not sure how much vlogging I can really do because Ryan's mom's gonna be staying with us and we live in a tiny one bedroom apartment. But I'm going to film as much as I can. But she is here, so I will be a little shy, hoping out the camera, filming in front of her, because she's not used to that. But yeah, I will check with you guys later tonight. Good morning, happy Sunday. It is 9.30 a.m. What time is it? It's 9.41 a.m. Last night, I ended up just finishing up some appointments for the new booking system, and then I took a shower, and then me and Ryan and his mom just chilled on the couch and watched 48 hours murder mystery and that was my night i went to bed super early at 10 30 and i woke up at 9 i had a really really good night's sleep but ryan was up at like 8 called to u-haul reserved it got some wrapping paper and then when he got back his mom was still sleeping on the couch but he was like you want to go to the gym i was like sure let's get it over with i'm up i'm at the little lounge at our apartment but since ryan's mom is sleeping on our couch it's very quiet so i couldn't vlog but i'm about to walk in the gym do a really good workout and then we'll see where the day takes us, but today is packing day. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. So it is now 12.03 p.m. and I have so many things to do, like packing wise. Thank God for Ryan's mom, she's starting to pack for me. She's working on my closet right now. But I had to come to Target to pick up um, trash bags. I also went to Target a couple, like a week ago and I forgot my detergent here, like at self checkout, so I had to go grab some more. So I'm gonna head home and pack my life away. <laughs> Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of All right, we are pretty much 80% packed. Like, this is crazy. All I have to do is transport my clothes to my car. I have all my shoes, well, my heels and my shorts in here. We took everything off. You guys should see my room right now, my glam room. It is like 80% packed. But I feel so much better now. I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna do Ryan's mom's hair, pop in some highlights. So we're having a very productive packing day. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna be going to the new salon and moving in all my new stuff. Everything's going as planned and on point. Oh, 
guys so it is the next day and I just finished my workout it is 9 44 a.m. I'm at the lounge again I just finished my workout and I'm about to go get a smoothie from a local smoothie shop and then I'm gonna go to the color store that's closest to <clears throat> my apartment because it does have the color that I use for work so I just have to pick up some more things and then I'm gonna head back home finish a couple boxes that I need to pack and then I'm going to head back to the new salon later today to set up my new station oh, I'm so excited um, I did wake up pretty early and I went to bed early so that's why I'm getting the day started very early my mother-in-law is still sleeping in my apartment so I can't film yet around her so I'm gonna head out run a couple errands and I will check with you guys later We're making the first trip. We ended up getting the keys early today. We're supposed to get the keys tomorrow morning, but we ended up getting it right now at five o'clock and it's 5.53 p.m. right now. We're gonna do the first run. Me, Ryan, and his mom have cars filled with clothes and stuff. So let's do this. I cannot wait to see the house. So excited. So, so excited. I also have my little dried up flowers here because I don't want them to get damaged. So it's the first thing I'm gonna bring in the house. <laughs> Take it too far. 
far, though it's hard not getting tempted. Calling you up to see how you've been, cause don't I miss you and all the first run complete. Hey guys, so it is now 9 p.m. We are finished with everything today. We just finished dinner and I just took a shower. I put that moisturizing um, moisturizer on. It looks so glowy and fresh. But I'm gonna chill for the rest of the night. I'm gonna save the rest of my energy for tomorrow. Tomorrow's the big move. And I can show you guys a glimpse of everything inside. But we did do a good, solid first little run, dropping off all of our clothes and stuff like that so that way tomorrow we don't have to worry about clothes everything's already in the closets so yeah i'm excited to get this move over with i'm so 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 pumped and i'm so excited to move into a house you guys have no idea and this is our last night sleeping in an apartment very bittersweet but i'm excited so i will check in with you guys tomorrow morning We are on the way to the house, Stormy. Shh. <sighs> All right, I have the dogs with me. We got the car fully loaded. They're very anxious, they know something's up. We're doing really good on time. It's 10, 12 a.m. We started packing, like packing the U-Haul at, uh, what time was it, 8.30. So we're doing really good. They're almost done. I'm gonna meet them over there. I have to get the dog situated, get in the house, get everything situated. And then my brother-in-law is gonna meet us in an hour so he can help lift up the heavy sub up, up the stairs. So I will see you guys when we get to the house. We made it, looky bear. Oh my goodness, Storm Storm. Stormy. We're home. We're home, Stormy. Ah! Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Come on, Storm. It's her first time going upstairs. Go, go, you got this. Come on. Oh, she's scared. Come on. Get used to it. Uh-oh. Come on. Oh. This is this. <laughs> you guys excited? You guys excited? I feel like my heart rate has been up since 9 a.m. But we are pretty much done for today. I still have a couple things I want to do, but I need to grab food because we haven't ate since 11:30. But obviously, it's not gonna be for another couple weeks till we finish everything. But we did like so much today. I'm so happy because again, I start my new salon tomorrow. I just wanted to start my first day with less clutter. Does that make sense? I wanted to start my new salon with as much, wait, I wanted to start my salon with as little clutter as possible. So I think we did a really good job. What? Huh? Oh. So we have lights here. We still have a couple things to do before we end our day. But as you can see, this is our bed. You guys can tell like I'm out of breath. I've been out of breath since this morning. We need to calibrate the bottom because this is a um, adjustable bed. So once he does that, I just feel really bad because his back is hurting so much since, you know, he has back problems. But yeah, we need to calibrate the bottom so it's adjustable. And then we need to put some of the stuff underneath like this. This was underneath. My wedding dress was stuffed under there. And then that way he can put the mattress on top. We can put new sheets, all that. And then we need to move the dresser over here. We need to put the drawers back in there. This thing was the heaviest to move. I thought it was going to break or fall on someone. I'm glad everything went well. And then put the TV on top. And then my closet is obviously nothing's going to be 100% for another month. But... You guys can see, I mean, this is such a hot mess, but I'm definitely gonna declutter 
a lot of my stuff but look how big this closet is like this is game changer um i put some of the shoes away but we have to go through so many things to get rid of but i already put my jeans and stuff up there i got rid of 30 boxes which is really good the bathroom is pretty much okay and then we need to put the mirror in our bedroom and then this is the office slash guest room slash baby room but for now it's just going to be an office slash guest room. We have to get, we're going to get a Murphy bed. What? Ah. Uh, okay, this is my glam room. I'm so happy to have a window again. This mirror, oh, it looks so good here. I already unpacked most of the boxes. I just have a couple things there that I need to wait so I organize the whole closet. Um, this is pretty much like closet stuff. Um, I need to set up my vanity tonight because I'm getting ready tomorrow. I need that figured out. Um, good thing the makeup is still in the drawer so I don't have to like, you know, re-put stuff in. Deborah, I always carry her around. Love you, bitch. Uh, I need to put... I did empty all of the drawers so that way this thing is easier to move because it was on its last leg. So these trash bags have stuff I need to put back in the drawers. So I'm doing that tonight, doing this tonight, and then we'll be good. So that is it. This is the guest bathroom. I'm going to do this another day, obviously. But yeah, I am so excited. It feels like home. And I know we're not 100% settled in, obviously, but I'm so happy here. I am so happy. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this moving vlog. I know it was kind of all, all over the place. I did try to film as much as I could, but I'm not gonna lie, today we did so much and his parents were involved and you know, they're older. So I had to help out a lot and I just did not have time to whip up the camera and like film. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I will definitely bring you guys along the journey of getting my house together. I'm definitely gonna be redoing some things, especially in the living room. And I want to redo our bedroom a little bit. So yeah, I'm so excited. Definitely let me know down below what you guys think. I'm so happy here. So if you guys enjoyed this vlog, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below to help your girl out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I also look crazy right now. I need food. Oh my god.